Yeah, Rust is, I mean, Rust is probably a fine language, but you know, it's not as good as Iron Ore. Iron Ore is a way better language. Um, uh, also, uh, the, uh, the, the zinc oxide language is very good. Um, dihydrogen monoxide is one of my favorite languages. It's got a ton of good stuff in it. Um, you know, cause Rust has the borrow checker, which people like to talk about. Um, but the, but, uh, zinc oxide is a way better language and, uh, the borrow checker has a lot of limitations. Zinc oxide has the, uh, theft police feature. The theft police is like way better than the borrow checker. Um, and, uh, and similarly, like, like the garbage collection features are, are like, like Go's garbage collection is terrible. Whereas zinc oxide has actually, um, recycling and composting that's memory composting uh and memory composting is like way more powerful than garbage garbage collection right uh because one of the problems that you get in in languages like go that focus on garbage collection is that uh eventually there's uh you run out of raw materials right so you know, you're collecting the garbage collecting garbage collecting garbage putting it in uh into the landfill segment and then eventually you know either you run out of space in the landfill segment uh, or you end up in a situation where you just don't have any raw materials anymore at all, right? Um, so, you know, in a language like Go, all of the memory has to come from the memory garden. The memory garden is planted at startup time. And uh, after you harvest all of the memory in the memory garden, and your garbage collector has collected all of that used memory and thrown it away in the landfill segment, uh, that's it, right? I mean, the program just stops. I mean, basically, uh, not, not to mention all the health problems. And so one of the things about zinc oxide, which makes it far superior, um, or also, I, the, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked at StopLang. StopLang is, is kind of like Go, but with composting, with memory composting, right? Because they recognized the fact um, that, you know, you, you have this sort of inherent problem uh, with garbage collection where all of the code just just ends up in a landfill and, and there's you know all, all of all of that memory just ends up in the landfill after it's used and it's, it's a really big problem so stop laying but also zinc oxide because zinc oxide is really like way better uh right um stop laying was kind of just only internal uh uh to to fugal um and you know they they sort of have it out there but it's not really whereas uh Zinc oxide was more of like an open language, took more feedback from the academic community. We all know how good the academic community is at designing languages. Very good. The fact that they never write any code doesn't, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't be held against them. Uh, so anyway, zinc oxide has, it, in that, has the memory composting. So what that allows you to do is after you use uh, some memory from the memory garden, which obviously, you know, all the memory has to go through a memory garden at some point uh, in order to, to uh, have the memory be nitrogen fixated when it's initially... Uh, created, uh, unless you're in, in Plisk. Obviously, Plisk code and data are interchangeable, and you can and you know everything everything is a plip uh, in that language. So that's like a different kind of language. So I would I would say uh, yeah, don't don't take that one too seriously. Uh, it's just a little bit weird. But assuming that you're using zinc oxide or stoplang, um, you know that that composite feature is really important because. You know, then instead of all of the garbage collected memory just getting thrown away, all of that, uh, you know, that, that nutrient rich used memory is put into a bin, uh, right? It's put into a memory bin until it kind of has a chance to let, you know, usually what, and, and I, I know this seems weird, but this is, very serious security research was done on both Stoplang and zinc oxide. And so a lot of those other languages that you're, that you're talking about there, uh, a lot of those other languages, they don't appreciate the fact that there's a lot of other ma uh, malicious code normally running on the machine. There's like malware, you know, viruses, but those things are actually helpful, right? Uh, Cause what those things can do is if you just give them your used memory, then what'll happen is those malwares will actually, they will metabolize the used memory and turn it back into re memory you can use in your actual program, right? 
So a typical language like, like Stoplang or Zinc Oxide that has some of these more modern memory composting features, they'll take that used memory after you, know, you use it in your actual program to do some computations and store some things in, they'll put it into the memory composting bin. And that bin is essentially, you could think of it as a memory sandbox, right? That is running all of the malware on your machine and it's, it's allowing that composted memory, right? to be metabolized by the malware in, back into usable memory. And so that is a really, uh, you know, again, very cutting edge, uh, very, very, very cutting edge language feature that things like Stoplang and Zinc Oxide have. Uh, and, you know, it's one of the reasons why, you know, those are really great languages. I can see why everyone always comes on the stream and asks me what I think of them.